I did not mean to drop off of the radar on Friday. Friday was kind of rough, and the weekend was a bit rougher. Uh, I'm just gonna like start this episode off with a bunch of disclaimers, getting everything out on the table, stuff like that. To make a long story short, Friday and over the weekend consisted well over ten failed recordings of me trying to do the same shit and failing miserably. Because I found out that, no, we aren't in fucking free roam mode. There's a time limit. The Master's Army is making a beeline for Vault 13. So, yeah, that's great, and not knowing what else to do, I panicked because I didn't know how much time I had burned getting all the side stuff done. So yeah, basically, I know a little bit of what to do this episode, and unfortunately, due to me pissing off a friend who was helping me all this time, they kind of spoiled me on a bunch of stuff out of spite. So, if you're wondering why I'm alone, it's because for this part, I have to be. Just don't worry about everyone else. They're... they're fine. So yeah, this... the first part of this video and a little bit of the military base from what I got spoiled on is gonna be slightly more walkthrough-y than normal. I don't know what exactly I have to do, all I know is that these robes will basically let me talk my way or sneak my way through this part and the military base. So first, you gotta talk to this guy. He thinks we're an initiate. We tell him we want to speak with the guy in charge. We tell him to let us pass the Nightkin, who basically are apparently in this game. I guess I should have figured that from fucking uh, New Vegas, since, you know, your, one of your companions is actually a nightkin that used to be part of the Master's Army. Kind of wondered why that name sounded familiar when I heard it from a. Uh, the. Did he not give me the? Oh no, here it is. But yeah, I was wondering why the name the Master said I seemed familiar, and then just oh, duh, that's why. Here, they just ignore us, just for the best. The leader of the children of the cathedral is in here. I don't remember inviting anyone to my room, and yet I have a visitor. Why? Uh, hmm. Let me hurry. Yours. I ask the questions, not you. Now, tell me what you are doing here. I'm here to make you a deal. What could you possibly offer me? Let's see. I'd like to offer you some information about your enemies. And who might my enemies be? All well, the followers, for one. Tell me what you know. I don't think so. Take me to the Master. Him, I'll tell. Give me the information, or die a slow, lingering death. Think the Master would be happy, even if he killed a Vault Dweller? Ah, so you are the Vault Dweller I've been hearing about. Surprised? I have my sources. Now I will take you as a gift to the master. He'll be very pleased. And so will I. So what shall it be? Do you join the unity, or do you die here? 
Join. Die. Join. Die. I I need a minute. I did not expect the master to holy shit. Just <sighs> Whoa. If you can prove to me that your unity is the best course for humanity, then I will help you. I don't have to prove anything to you! Prove! I can't know you represent the best future unless you prove it to me. Very demanding for one in your... Tenuous... ...position. But I can... Respect... ...your needs. So tell me. The unity will bring about the master race. Master! Master! One able to survive, or even thrive, in the wasteland. As long as there are differences, we will tear ourselves apart fighting each other. We need one race. Race! race. One goal. Goal! Goal! One people to move forward to our destiny. Destiny. That race being the mutants, of course. Of course. Mutants are best equipped to deal with the world today. Who else? The ghouls? Please. Normals? They brought nuclear death to us all. This will be the age of mutants. Mutants. You mean they change all others into mutants as well? All that... Resist? Yes. And all those that are required for the... Unity? As well. The remainder will be allowed to live out their days. But under unity, control, and protection. But none shall breed, for they will be the last of their race. You've got a problem with your master plan. And what is that? I happen to know from a hollow disk that you get from Vree in the Brotherhood of Steel that mutants happen to be sterile. Preposterous! The FEV2 virus doesn't destroy the reproductive organs of those it mutates. Perhaps the virus didn't sterilize people once, but it does now. Do you have proof? Of course I do. Here it is. I must digest this information. One moment. I understand now. You made a clever forgery. You made this up to fool me. Fool! Me! You're lying. You're denying the facts in front of you. But it cannot be. This would mean that... All my work... ...has been for nothing. Everything that I've tried to... A, a failure! It can't be. 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 Sorry, this isn't an option for you. Your race will die out after this generation. I don't think that I can continue. Continue? To have done the things I have done in the name of progress and healing. It was madness. I can see that now. Madness. Madness? There is no hope. Leave now. Leave while you still have hope. We need to get the hell out right now.
Uh, I'm on important business. You have no right to stop and question me. Yeah, sure. Whatever. to warn everybody, but I really, really don't. And with that, I will see you guys at the Mariposa military base. Okay, so apparently this method won't work if you've already blown up the master, so I'm just gonna, like, record the two separately and splice in the ending afterwards. They'll tell you this is restricted, but if you have the warrant, but if you have the... Robes, you can just tell them that you're with the cathedral, or you can lie and say you're a mutant, which is, I mean, it didn't work on Harry, so I don't really see, you know, anyway, this door is locked, so I'm probably gonna have to get the key off of this guard. Alright, let's give this a shot. Okay, so after a couple of failed stealing attempts, I actually found out you can do something that's actually kind of funny. So, apparently I'm too weighted down by my own power armor, but apparently, if you just slip it on, he won't know the wiser, and you can just, like, steal from him. Then you can just slip these robes back on. There we go. There's the code we need. There we go. Oh boy. So Basically, what we need to do is that there's a certain place we need to find the vats and we need to destroy. Well, I know where we're not going. Like, ever. These force fields look like they hurt. Like, a lot. At the same time, it looks like we can get over there relatively easily, so. Let's do just that. Okay, so what's this then? It's damage and will take some work to so repair it? Re repair it? Okay, it's corrupted data, so my science skill isn't the best, but Oh shit. Uh what is your function? This terminal is part of your operations. Uh 
What programs are you running? Let's see. Um. Terminate. Uh. Let's see. If there's anything else that I can do involving it. on all force fields? Wait, what? Programs, um... Just parameters on movement? Wait, just sensor crank. No, wait, fuck. Minimal sensors, I guess. Uh... Play hearts? Oh. I was just literally playing cards with it. Okay. Uh, is there anything else I can do with it then? Control, let me. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what remote service and what remote units? I remember the remote units that you control. See, responsible for all general trauma. Okay, please be more specific. Call me over to as Robo Brain. Huh. Let's see, um. Well, I don't really. Wait, what are these? Robo Brains. Do nothing. You see a force field. Hmm. Terminal. Okay, what does this do then? Oh wait. You do not see a control panel on this emitter. Perhaps there is another way to lower this force field. Hmm. Anything in here that it maybe can help? No. 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 Let's see. This leads over there and To go over there, I mean, if I'm with the brother, I mean, if I'm, if I say I'm with the cathedral, they should leave me alone, yeah. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with the cathedral. Just, just leave me be. Just, just leave me be. So let's see. Odd color patterns. Me through a reboot process. The system seems to have locked up. Fucking. Let me do the thing. Let me fix the thing? Fuck. Okay. So. Maybe if I just slipped around here and use one of these? No? No. I wonder, can I just pass through one of these and... Oh! Fuck, I mean... If I wanted to... Fuck, if it just damages me a little bit... Then just... Yeah, I can just, like, pass through it. That was... 
ridiculously easy. I guess I want to go to the bottom floor? Let's see. Well, I guess in order to go deeper I need to just pass through here and shoot one of these down, that's for sure. So yeah, just pass through here. I didn't know that I could just brute force my way through, uh, through the force fields. That works. I just wanted to see what would happen if I touched one, honestly. Famous last words, but you know, this elevator's out of order. Shit. Yeah, I, just, I know that friggin' I wanted to see what it would do with friggin' famous last words, but you know. Who was that? It's a huge mutant. Uh. See, awful Mr. Chono. Why? What is this place? This is prisoner's cell block. Here we hold humans until you dip them. Good stuff, huh? Okay, thank you. Okay. I don't think I need to be there. Maybe I need to go onto the second floor and see what's there? Well, who are you? Okay, it's just a, a big guy. Don't mind me. Just indulging in some good old-fashioned masochism. Need here? There are a couple robo brains. This looks to just be the mutants' quarters. So fuck. Okay, maybe I do just need to like try and stealth my way past that guy. Oh jeez, when did it do hit? When did it, when did that do ten hit points? Oh wait, that's because I'm dumb and I didn't take the fucking elevator back down. Anybody around here, so it's mostly just this guy. So it's like I may have to actually put my stealth to good use. Wait, what the? <sighs> no, you. F I could have sworn I have. I think I have auto run off. Hold on a second. Yeah, I have. I have auto run. Okay, there we go. Um, you just get right there. Vets that I need to get to. Is 
the hell is that? Lieutenant of the Master's Army. Yeah, let's... Let's not bother him. Unless we have to. For now I'm gonna save. Okay. Now we just get our way up here. This thing's gonna be locked, ain't it? No. Okay. Uh, so nobody's gonna like... Yeah, nobody's gonna make a scene out of, out, out of this. Okay, so... If that's control computer. Excuse me. Let's see. I use the computer, but I'm unable to get any useful information out of it. Hmm. Well, maybe it's not this one? Or maybe we need... There are monitors here. Do we use them for anything? Hmm. Maybe we need to talk to some people? Oh, you surrender. It's Christ, okay, but what do I do? I just like fiddled with my science for a little bit and I managed to get an interface screen. Okay, hold on. Access granted command. Uh, let's see. Search logs. C. Wait. Maxon? Oh, Captain Maxon. Uh, Ray? What? Oh, wait. Download the log of Richard Gray, yes. Space security codes, uh... Mm. Uh... Okay, so... I couldn't make heads or tails of anything that was on the, uh on the terminal screen, so I was wondering if maybe... maybe... hey, what's this? I... All you have to do is give me the keycard and I won't... Give me the keycard and I will not hurt you. Thank you. That's all you had to do. Now let's see, set base to alert stat- no wait, security codes. I- the, am I supposed to use the keycard on the thing? That does nothing. Or maybe I'm just supposed to like- maybe it's a holodisc. does nothing. You know what, hold on. Okay, so basically, friggin' I just looked it up and apparently we want to pick the second one from the bottom and I don't know if it's that one or this one because I don't know if this one counts. I mean like, unless like, now that I have the key card, I... Oh. Oh, we can self-destruct this bitch. Okay, so let's see. So, yeah, let's go for, let's go for three minutes. Silent self-destruct. And now, we run. And actually, just in case, we put these back on, because, hmm, let's just make this as easy as possible for, for ourselves.
surely, surely he won't judge us if we're just like, leave him, right? Right. So yeah, let's just, let's let, ow, I don't know what that was. Whatever it was, it's killing me to fix that. Oh, what? 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 Why? Okay, you know what? We're making a break for it anyway. Why am I... Are you shitting me? Oh, great. There's company waiting for us here, too. So you know what? Um... I didn't keep my grenades, did I? Fuck. Good, good, good. Pop this just in case. Okay, good, good. He killed the one with the rocket launcher. Don't care. Gotta go. just need to leave. I, 
No, don't walk, you fucking... Come on, you have two minutes. Two minutes. Come on. That way they can't. Come on. Yes, keep missing. Take one more of these. Nope. Don't got time. Don't got time. Don't. I. I've been shift clicking. Why aren't you running? Come on. Are you kidding me? Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Nope. The death of the Master was the first major step towards ending his mad dream of conquest and enforced peace. But it is the destruction of the Vats that neutralizes the mutant threat. Without the ability to create more mutants and enforce their harsh brand of justice, the mutant armies flee to the east, beyond the no-man's land. To the Mojave Wasteland. The mutant attack on Necropolis spares none of its ghoulish inhabitants. After the mutant armies advance, they leave a truly dead city behind them. And I wish you guys had told me this instead of trying to avoid spoilers. The mutant armies, led into battle by the fierce super mutants, destroy the followers of the apocalypse. Wait, the barely what? Barely human carrion feeders pick over the followers' remains. In Shady Sands, Tandy helps her father Aradesh bring a new community and new life out of the broken remains of the world. They are responsible for the new California Republic, whose ideals spread across the land. Killian Darkwater takes firm control of Junktown, drives out the last of Gizmo's kind, and then enforces his own brand of frontier justice. Life is fair and safe under his law. That's good at least. The Brotherhood of Steel helps the other human outposts drive the mutant armies away with minimal loss of life on both sides of the conflict. The advanced technology of the Brotherhood is slowly reintroduced into New California with little disruption or chaos. The Brotherhood wisely remains out of the power structure and becomes a major research and development house. Wow, a branch I might actually like. The Desert Raiders eventually regroup and managed to terrorize small communities in the years following your adventures. Oh. Your involvement with the various places and people of the Wasteland is well documented by future historians. Only a single question remained unanswered. What happened to you? Didn't I just go back to my vault? You've done it. That's wonderful, amazing. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished, what you've endured. It's good to be back, Overseer. There's no way the people of the Vault can ever thank you enough for what you've done. You've saved all our lives. Who knows? Maybe even saved the human race. <sighs> yes. That makes the rest of this even harder. What are you talking about, Chief? 
everyone will want to talk to you. Every youngster will look up to you and want to emulate you. And then what? What? I mean... They'll want to leave. What happens to the vault if we lose the best of a generation? What if we are the only safe place in the world? You just gave us back all these lives. I can't take the chance of losing them. Chief, what's wrong with leaving the vault? We weren't supposed to stay here forever anyway. What are, what are you implying? I've made a lot of tough decisions since I took this position, but none of them harder than this one. You saved us, but you'll kill us. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. just I oh god I am at a loss for words here I guess what I really should start off with is just a genuine apology like I really didn't expect that the last episode of this would just be like honestly a total shit show. I panicked way too hard over the hidden time limit and just uh, I just wanted it to be done. I mean I had a fun time before I found that out and just uh, it's not a bad game I do prefer the style and the combat over the and over Bethesda's Fallout, but at the same time, part of me still can't help but think, man, Fallout 2 better make up for this, and just, I really hope it does, with like, cause just, basically everybody who's been around for the entire series and has played all of them as they've came out, have basically boasted Fallout 2 as the good one, the best one. And I really hope that's true, because just... Ugh. I had fun, but this ending and the time limit and whatnot just stressed me out a lot more than I'd like to admit. So just... Mmm. Also... I guess when it comes to the ending, I guess the Master's Army, because I took so long traveling between the military base and whatnot, invaded the Boneyard, which makes me feel even more like shit, because guess where I left my fucking companions. So yeah, I just... Ugh. I had fun, then this happened, and now I basically just feel like sentient garbage. I just, I feel bad. I feel really bad. Terrible, honestly. And I'm very tired. Very, very tired. It's, oh my god, it's almost 5am. But yeah, I just, uh, I didn't know what to do and just, uh,
Not to mention just, I'm gonna have to edit that song out, the maybe, by the ink spots. I don't want to, but the last time I left it in, I got a false content ID claim by somebody who didn't want to drop the claim, so I had to edit it out. And just, mmm, not to mention just, that ending as a whole, just like us having to leave because, oh, you'll inspire the kids to leave, that's stupid. That's immensely stupid. Incredibly so, honestly. And just... Mm, I don't know what else to say, really. Except just... I'm sorry. I'm incredibly, incredibly fucking sorry. And there really isn't an announcement for the next LP to go with this episode because, again, I'm letting you guys decide. Uh, there has been a poll going on for the last couple days, and basically, once I said this was, uh, I said the poll would be ending once the final episode airs, so basically, once you see this episode, that means I will have already taken a screenshot of the results, and I will make the announcement tomorrow. So, I guess I'll see you guys then. This is Mihari of Mabinogi, who is still extremely sorry, signing out.